we had the Humane Society here in Cottonwood, Arizona adopt Pet for Life. And as you can see the wall right there, we have some pictures of some animals and uh, some different things for animals. And uh, I don't know if any of you watched a special on CBS like about animals. Uh, Pet Crazy was pretty interesting, pretty amazing show. Anyway, I'm here today because we have an ice cream social at the uh, Adopt a Pet for Life here in Cottonwood, Arizona. I'm talking to Lisa in a couple minutes here and, and get her take what's going on here with uh, Adopt a Pet for Life, you know, here in uh, Cottonwood, Arizona and Camp Verde in Sedona. So we'll talk to her in a bit and uh, hope the social here turns out pretty good and meet some people. As you can see, I have Lisa. I'll get you to count your last name, Lisa. Dysick. Dysick. Lisa Dysick. And Lisa, right now, you're kind of the intern uh, manager for here in Cottonwood, uh, Adopt a Pet right here in Cotton right now, huh? Correct. And you're a busy lady, because I heard that you're also in, uh, in Camp Verde. Yes. So you're, you're, you're going back and forth then, huh? Correct. So how long have you been Helping doing that? Um, about a month now. About a month? Yeah, I, I do animal control for the town of Camp Verde. I'm looking for a more great, you know. Well, you're a young lady, so you can, you can handle it. Okay, <laughs> okay. I say so. <laughs> but anyway, what's going on here today, Lisa? We're having our ice cream social today from 2 to 4 here at the Adopt for Life Center in Cottonwood, mm -hmm. where people can come view our dogs and cats and also uh, enjoy some ice cream. Well, that's nice. That's a nice kind of social. People get out of the house and, and get away from that uh, couch potato stuff that's and right, come out and Sunday enjoy it. Meet yes. some people and, and see some animals here. Yes. Now, you have, you have a, a dog down here. Just have, having a little bit of a problem. What is her name now? Sheba. 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 Hey, Sheba. Here, sit. Hi, Sheba. Sit. Good girl. Oh, good minder, huh, Sheba? Sheba has diabetes. She has diabetes. And we're feeding her. She's on insulin twice a day, and um, she's doing very well. She's my foster. She needs a forever home. She's very friendly. Oh, she likes uh, stuff, kids. Yes, she's about she's about six years old. Oh, six years old. Um, and she is just a sweetheart. I guess I guess animals have the same problems that humans have, huh? As Absolutely. far as health problems, huh? Yes. yes. And so she's one of our special needs that we believe she definitely deserves a shot to find that forever home. Yeah. So uh, with diabetes with dogs, is it the same thing as adults or yes. people? Is yep, it really? It's actually the same insulin. It's yes. Same thing. I didn't realize. It. I didn't know that. It you know. Is. Sit. She so, so I, I know I know you you continuously here in, in any kind of shelter, any kind of human or adults are always out there trying to raise funds. That's, That's one of the main things, sir. It's, it's ongoing and, and probably never ends. Correct. We have um, had several animals with surgeries and such this month. So somebody like Shiva, you know, to get her blood taken to go ahead and start her diabetes treatment costs extra funding. So I know you, have, you always have a different fundraiser also going on. So do you have any more plans for the Camp Verde or, or uh, Cottonwood fundraisers? We, we actually, um, we'll be having more soon. And you can look at us on Facebook. We have our Adopt for Life Facebook page. And also on our website will be more. Um, we also, next Saturday, is National Adopt a Black Cat Day. Oh, good, Black Cat Day. So we have right now 20 black cats in our facility. Kittens really? and cats. So if people could come out and adopt a black cat, that'd be fantastic. Well, you know, uh, what, you know October is coming up. Yes. <laughs> Halloween, you know. That's right. And also, um, we have new hours. Starting tomorrow, we'll be open 10 to 5, 6 days a week. I know, so, I, I know you have a lot of people. You have a lot of volunteers and some board members here. Maybe you want yes. to mention some of the people who are involved here. Yes. You can, Shirley Pan, um, all these people we could not do this without our, our volunteers. All of our green shirts yeah. are our volunteers right. here. Um, and our board president, Grace. <laughs> well, she's a board president, huh? I'm board president, yes. <laughs> well, well, I'll, I'll do a thing with her separately, okay, <laughs> in, in, in a minute here. But anyway, these are yeah. all, all volunteers right here. Our volunteers the green shirts. They all volunteers. Isn't that great? You know, but it, I, w I would hope you know, I, I, I could see some more younger people out here volunteering. Mm -hmm. Yes, know? we do. Um, do we you? do. We have a lot of, and it changes all the time. A lot of our young kids go off to college, uh -huh. so we only have them for so long. They come on uh, spring breaks, fall breaks, all that stuff. Okay, great. So we do have a lot of young um, workers, though. It's like Nico in mm -hmm. their young 20s. We have a lot of young staff. And you know what? That's good because it takes a lot of energy to, to work at this facility. <laughs> 
Do you still have your facility in Camp Verde? Where it got located? Yes, now? we're actually just an impound. We're just an impound. Animal oh. Control brings all their dogs here to Conway. Oh, do That's how I got this. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, do you, are you working with the donor at all? Or do you, uh, we do. Sometimes we'll trade dogs if they're low on cats. And we do, we do like trade-offs mm -hmm. to help each other out. Absolutely. Okay, great. Uh, before I let you go, Lisa, do you want to give a, a phone number out or come into, come in, when's the best time to adopt a pet or whatever? Or? Come to Adopt for Life here on, on, our, um, on our website where we have all of our information, but you can come here six days a week now with our new hours, 10 to 5. Starting tomorrow, we were only open um, from to 4 o'clock and we used to be closed on Mondays. Now we are going to lengthen our hours. So we're here. We're here. The animals are here. We need all the help we can get. We average... Um, on an average 50 to 60 dogs and, and that equal that as far as cats really? in our facility. So we have over 100 animals at our facility at any, any given time. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So they're also looking for volunteers and also looking to, for funds. All That's right. Time. Right. And, and, our, and our vet care is one of our biggest. So we try to do individual fundraisers. We had a birthday bash a few weeks ago where we had an open house and people could come into our facility. And um, a lot of our people that donate to us were able to have that time here. And they really enjoyed it. She was well, I know you're a busy, busy lady, so I'll let you go. And thanks a lot. We'll do some more things in the future. Thank you. Thanks a lot.